Kristen, Zende, it is so good to see you guys. And look at you. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, you are all grown up. <laughs> hey, guys. Good to see you. <laughs> so how long are you guys staying? Oh, just a few days. Sunday's on a little break from school. Oh. It's too short. Yeah. <laughs> it's too bad Tony couldn't join you here. Yeah, I'll support doing? 100%. I was hoping I could talk to Grandma about it, too. Uh, I was hoping she'd want to host a benefit in L.A. Oh, well, sweetie, your grandmother has a lot going on right now. I think that's why it was better that you stay with us this time. Oh, that was my idea. I wanted to hang out with my cousins. Well, don't let us stop you. The girls are waiting for you down by the pool. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Rich. Have fun. Yeah. The real reason we're back? Dad and Brooke married again? I can't believe this. How are you feeling this morning, Mrs. Eric Forrester? Actually, I was going to ask you the same thing. Well, you, you better than anyone knows what she's done to us. God. She seduced both my sons and my husband. I mean, she's humiliated me. Eric, stop. I'm sorry. It, it's not you. It's... It's Nick. He's still with me. I, I just need a little more time. Yeah, and, uh... And I swear. Please don't be upset. I'm not. Not upset. A little breathless, but I'm not upset. It's okay. Eric and I are married. Oh, please don't cover up because of me. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> That's your uniform, isn't it? Gosh, I'm surprised you don't have your name stitched right across the top there. What I do in my bedroom with my husband is none of your what business. What do you think? I mean, that you're making some great, noble sacrifice? That it's going to make you a wonderful mother? Eric and I yes. both agree. Eric and you, the fashion, fashion duo. This humiliation, this degradation right in front of my doorstep. We didn't know. You didn't care. Eric didn't want to hurt you, Stephanie. He's doing something to help his daughter. I know why he walked away from me. I don't blame him. I've done some terrible things. Look at me lying about dying. Having my grandchildren right there, right, right next to my deathbed, scaring them to death. And the whole time, all I could think about was getting rid of you. For years and years and years, that's all that's in my head, getting rid of you. I'm spiraling out of control. I don't know who I am anymore. I don't recognize myself anymore. I don't know what I'm capable of. I don't know, understand the things that I do. I don't know the things that I'm capable of doing. Don't. I used to be rational. Stay back. I used to be a sane Stephanie. person. I did, but Stephanie, not anymore. Please. Not anymore. Stephanie. 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 